Yeah, I need a Coleman uh, lantern, sleeping bag, specifically a Coleman, yeah, and a uh, tent. <laughs> you guessed it, Call of Duty World of War, yes sir. Yeah, I'm going to start camping. Call of Duty World of War. Now, I wonder a lot of people stop playing that game. Come on now, these campers, man, for real. Man, I bludgeoned this dude like three games in a row. And I noticed he was camping the whole game. He was camping the whole game. And I seen him camping. I just bludgeoned him. Destroyed him. But the last game I played, motherfucker had 30 kills and two deaths. And he hid behind the crate on the top floor of the asylum. And my dumb ass is, if someone's camping, I'm making a point to go get his ass. It pisses me the fuck off. And in the process of going to get him, I must have got killed like five times. And then when I got to him, he killed me. Because I was in a haste. I was pissed. I got to stop doing that. But anyway, the campers ruined the fucking game. They ruined the goddamn game. You see, you need to come up with a perk. Infinity Ward, you're making the next Call of Duty World of War 2, whatever, uh, Modern Warfare 2. You need to come up with a perk where the more you move or some kind of, the more you move, you get points. The less you move, you don't get points. Or come up with a camping perk where you can spot campers, people on the ground, on their knees, whatever, in that prone position, whatever. That's what you need to do. Get a camping perk. And that would be the most used perk out there. Because when you hide in the corner, and wait for someone to come by and get all your kills that way? That ain't no skill. That's why Resistance Fallen Man, the first one, was un un the best game ever. If you camped in that game, you came in last. It was uncampable. You could not camp in that game, and anyone that's played it knows it. Because if you camped, you lost. You had to I'm a running gunner. It was a running gun game. Call of Duty is basically a running gun game. Because you move it's just basically the same game. But there's so many campers in this game, it's sickening. They need to come up with a camping perk in this game, because I'm telling you right now, it's fucking irritating. When you come around the corner after three or four hard-earned kills, and you're about to get them uh, artillery, or the dogs, whatever, the 17, and some bastard fucking hides and camps on the corner, or on a crate, in the corner in the prone position. And don't even get me started on them people that act like they're, they're laying down on the ground. Shooting their gun like they're dead, whatever, whatever, right? That don't bother me as much, man, but I mean, come on. So you're going to hide in the corner, in a game, and I don't want to hear people say, you know, get it, can't, you, you know, get it, can't, you suck. I got 22,000 kills and 22,000 deaths. I don't give a fuck if I'm good or not. I'm a running gunner. I play the game to win the game. We play the game to win, not can't, Herman Edwards. But anyway, anyway, I play the game the right way. That's what I do. It's a fucking irritating. See the difference between a camper? See, there's always places to camp in a board. Always. Like, uh, you know, you certain boards, you get a little spot you can camp on, especially that damn um, making day, whatever, night, whatever. People camping all over the place. But see, the difference between a camper, one that does it for a living, and a normal player is, a camper can fly, find a flat field and find a spot to camp in it. That's what he does. He'll find the spot to camp in it. Whereas me and you, we don't camp, so we wouldn't know where one is. But a camper will have a spot. That's the now when you camp, you ain't a player. You ain't a player. I'm gonna I might start a new uh thing. Camper of the week on Call of Duty World War. This one pissed me off because I destroyed him three straight games and I seen him camping in three games. But then I noticed in this one here. I should have never went after him. I got a rule of thumb, man, to go after. I got to stop going after these campers. Because in the process of going after these campers when they're there, I get myself killed. Not too smart. And I know people are going to say, well, well real war, you're going to camp. You're not going to just run around blind shooting people. The minute you realize this is a video game, the minute you'll be better off, this is a video game. It's not a real war. Now, if I was in a real war, would I be running around guns blazing? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. But I'll tell you what. When that TV's on, if it opens up the screen and it becomes a real war, then I'll camp. But until that day happens, I'm running and gunning. Modern Warfare 2 Infinity Ward. Come up with a camping perk. Well, when people are in the crouch position hiding, you'll see a little red spot or a blue dot on your radar, whatever. You'll know they're there. That'll be the most used perk out there. Or come up with a point system. The more you move, the more points you get that will uh, somehow add up to your score. Anything. I mean, I have to put.
put much thought into this, but if I did, I'd come up with something. They got to do something. Because I know a lot of people don't even play. And I know people that say, oh, why ain't you playing Killzone 2? I let Killzone out to my boy, and I still haven't gotten it back. I will get it back, because guess what? You can't camp in that game either. Well, you can, but no one does.